everyone. Captain Shoes back with another coffee creamer review. Today, we're checking out the Starbucks branded white chocolate mocha creamer. But before we get started, please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments, tell me what you think about this Starbucks white chocolate mocha creamer or any other creamers out there that you think I should be having or have had in the past. Go check out the coffee creamer review playlist right down on my channel. You can do that if you'd like to further support Please check out my t-shirt store, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Joe Shoes. All that money just goes back into keeping content on the channel. But here we are, Starbucks branded white chocolate mocha. And I gotta be honest, I don't know if I'm excited for this. Not necessarily hyped. I've had one Starbucks creamer here on the channel before. It was a caramel macchiato and didn't thrill me. Did not really get there it was very eh, I put it at a, a below average this one I'm hoping is a little bit better with Starbucks I think the thing that hurts them most is they're a very popular brand obviously people love Starbucks I was a Starbucks gold member for a long time when it was next door to my job and I was going in and getting coffee every day but these things are very expensive so when they're not good they come down even further because you're paying almost an extra $1.50 or an extra $2 than you would for a similar sized bottle of an International Delight Creamer or Coffee Made Creamer. So that has to factor into the equation. But today we have white chocolate mocha. Let's get a whiff of this. Okay. I get like a like a white chocolate scent here, so okay, maybe maybe I was a little too harsh. I was coming in a little too strong. Maybe this is gonna be exactly what we needed. So let's get this in our cup. I, the thing I like with these Starbucks creamers, and if you could see it there, it has a nice easy to pour tip on the end of the cap there. So that'll limit your spillage, which is. Always appreciated around these parts. You guys have seen some of my videos. I uh, tend to make a mess. All right, so here we go. White chocolate mocha. Let's give it the old stir. Like I've said in the past, I like a, a light cup of coffee, so I usually do go with more cream than pretty much the average person, but we're here to review the creamer, not necessarily the coffee. So, Let's go. Oh. Uh. No. <laughs> this ain't it. I'll be honest, this is not good. This is not good at all. No. I don't know, like, it's not chalky. Sometimes some of these creamers can give you kind of like a chalky aftertaste. It's just, it almost tastes like it's turned, like it's, it's it does not have a good flavor to it. It's, it tastes bad. It's, I mean, that's the, the crux of the matter here is that it tastes bad. Is there an expiration date on this? Maybe, did I, did I just happen to get a bad one and didn't notice? May 2023, no I did not. This is just a bad coffee creamer. And like I said, when it comes to Starbucks, these things are over $5 a bottle. So it better be good for that kind of money. Who's gonna keep, I, look, if you like it, you like it, no one's gonna hold that against you. But to say you're getting better quality, better value out of a Starbucks branded one, and I, now this is the second one I've had. The first one I just wasn't thrilled with. This one is just awful. Um, it's not the worst creamer I've had because that title, that championship will probably forever remain with the Fruity Pebbles flavored one that they did a, a little while back. But 
this is not good and it's not worth the money and you shouldn't waste your time and or your money. Like I said, these things are expensive. And if you're going to, I'd rather have the same one, the same French vanilla, basic French vanilla from Coffee Mate or International Delight really. I'd rather have that a hundred times rather than try something different with Starbucks at this point because I, what do, like, this is awful. I mean, I got, ugh. I'm probably just gonna throw this out. Like, honestly, I'm probably just gonna throw it out. I'm not good. It's not, it tastes like bad milk is really what it is. And I don't want that. I'm not going to keep, continue to use that because I'm not even gonna enjoy my coffee. I need my coffee to get going on my day. I have a very busy schedule. I like doing these videos. I like seeing the outside. I like being able to go and do things. And for that, I need a cup of coffee in the morning to get me going. And this ain't it. This is just gonna make me angry. It's gonna make me pissed off. It's gonna make me want to not get anything done today because I'm gonna be like, this day is gonna suck because my coffee sucked. And if my coffee sucked, what's the rest of the day gonna be? At Starbucks, that's on you. That is on you. And I will not have you coming into my house and screwing up my coffee and my day. So this is garbage, don't get it, awful. One star, single main man. This is absolutely terrible. And like I said, I'm probably just gonna end up throwing it away, which is horrible to think about a $5 and change bottle of coffee creamer that I could have been much happier having the same one I always have or have regularly in my house for $2 less. But I said, let's branch out, let's give Starbucks another try, and now I paid the price. That's on me. Fool me twice, shame on me. Mm. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, get down in the comments, let me know what you thought. If you've had this, if you like it, why you like it? I, I genuinely would be interested in knowing. So get down in the comments, tell me what you guys think. Otherwise, until next time, friends.